Hey guys, it's Jen and Ryan here from Mazatlan, Mexico, here at the Rio Emerald Bay. A little bit different location for a little bit. this week's show. Um, so we're, yeah, just yeah. excited to be here. We're, we're here for episode three of Unscripted and Real with Ryan and Jen. And before we get going, if you've enjoyed these shows at all, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and there's a little notification bell. Just click on that so you can see anytime we launch a new video. But uh, we'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. So. It's been quite a week, I'll tell you that. We're heading home tomorrow and uh, it's been an interesting week of getting away, that's for sure. Absolutely. And for those that know us, know that I like to, I'm like more the free spirit I'd say. I like to fly by the seat of my pants, I love to adventure, I love um, breaking away from routine and just kind of going with the flow. Um, and I don't. <laughs> I like the routine. I love the routine. I love knowing exactly where I need to be when. I know when the kids' hockey schedules are. I like the routine. So this is yeah. uh, this is pushed. As much as it's weird to think about, going on vacation pushes me out of a comfort zone that I'm really, really used to. Totally. If you're the keeper of the schedules, and I don't know what I'm the keeper of. The fun. fun. I don't know. <laughs> you're the keeper of fun. So, good friends of ours, Sean and Katrina Sigurdsson that own Party Professionals in Brandon. Super amazing, um, dynamic duo, those two, and like the hardest working business owners you'll meet. And they booked to come down here for a couple weeks and invited us to join them. And my immediate response was yes, and took a little bit of convincing of Ryan. I had to check the hockey schedules. <laughs> I had to make it work with hockey so and we, work. So we knew that the boys were gonna miss one game each and then we were so fortunate to have Minette Powell from our office step in to take care of all of our clients while it's, we're away. It's interesting you bring that piece up because that is one of the questions we get often um, given the schedule that we run, given the yoga studio, the kids hockey, our work schedule, um, how do we do it all and how do we find time to get away and find time for each other and a lot of it has to do with having a great team behind us and yeah. Minette is crucial to that right now because she's holding down the real estate fort. We've got um, listings on the go, she's been out with buyers, she's been out doing showings and stuff. So without a good solid real estate team, there's no way we could balance not only going on vacation but just our life in general. So yeah. that's one of the big things for us is, and we've really worked on for years is finding that balance to, to go. Totally. And I was so fortunate to have Sarah Ann from the studio step in and cover the vast majority of my classes so that we didn't have to cancel um, many classes for us to be able to be here as a family and, and be able to give our boys that opportunity of traveling and seeing different parts of the world um, and experiencing just a variety of culture. Yeah, no, absolutely. And um one of the things I know I'm really excited about when we do get back and, and stuff, I know it's snowing a lot right now, so I'm not overly excited about that, but uh, we do have a really, really awesome um, sellers program we're about to really launch. We, yeah. we have soft launched it already, um, so you may have seen some little tidbits about it, but as soon as we get back at the beginning of March, we're gonna full force launch this thing. and. It is something we've worked on for almost a couple years now yeah. with uh, groups across Canada. There's 10 teams across Canada we worked on with. Um, and from an education standpoint, it, it, there's nothing out there that compares to this. I promise you that. And the, the cool part is there's no strings attached at all. It's 100% free. Take it. If you're working with another agent, that's completely fine. Our goal with this program is more to educate the, pe the sellers on what to expect because yeah. The more sellers know about the whole process, the easier things are going to be for anybody involved. So stay tuned for that in the next couple of weeks. I'm really, really excited about that. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to wrap this up pretty quick here because um, we're busy on the beach. But uh, yeah, just thanks for checking in. There's going to be Ryan has been our personal what? video. We have a huge highlight. The highlight is just I want to touch on this really quick. Um, Brady has been forever dreaming. He loves fishing watches fishing shows YouTube anything he can watch that's fishing and so we were fortunate enough to go deep sea fishing the other day and uh, it was a long eight hours the first four and a half were pretty boring there's some seasickness not by me not by Brady <laughs> um, he'll remain unnamed but uh, um, there was some seasickness but 
after we got going, I'm gonna put up some videos, but Brady caught a tuna, reeled it in by himself. I've never seen the kid happier and as excited as he was for days. He still wakes up every morning and says, I can't believe I caught a fish. Like it's unbelievable and so amazing as a dad and as a parent to have been able to be there to witness that for him. Um, totally. It was, it was something neither one of us will forget. We saw hundreds of dolphins, we saw whales, we saw turtles, um, we saw sea lions. It was an experience that, uh, take the fish away, he would never forget. But adding that fish in, and, and we had a marlin on our line. Um, yeah. The dolphin broke the line off, it flew through the, the wave and broke the line. We watched that happen, unfortunately, but uh, it was quite the experience. But And I think that just actually reminded me of one more thing I wanted to touch on. We've had a few people ask us, about pulling the kids out of school um, and why we'd pull them out of school why don't we just go at spring break or they're gonna miss actually Ashton's gonna miss two weeks uh, nine days here and then he has a hockey tournament but really I think for them the experience of traveling seeing different places the stuff that we've done every single day is they're, they're learning so much on the go and so I think about our vacations as a family and, the t and when I pull them out of school and do vacation as uh, a learning experience in a different kind of way not that I'm sitting here making them read books and do homework but every day we're just taking in the sights and the experience and they're learning so much about themselves and a different culture and each other and just actually learning about um, sort of problem solving on the go when you're traveling as a family of five is I mean there's so much and negotiating learning. we've had some good negotiating yes. tactics on the beach this week and it's oh my gosh fun. like the world better watch out for Max. Maddox Shields <laughs> that, we, that kid could literally negotiate his way into or out of anything I think <laughs> he saved us hundreds and hundreds of pesos just by negotiating by himself it's yeah. it, it's it's a course I want to take on how to negotiate by Max it's unbelievable yes. yeah he actually might become our new negotiation yeah, exactly <laughs> it's hard to say no to Max he's resilient and persistent and he's but, very cute yes he is he's very so. cute um, anyways, cheers to uh, cheers to Mexico. Cheers Thanks for Mexico. tuning in. If you're enjoying this, definitely please subscribe. Um, we'd really, really appreciate it. So we'll see you again. Episode number four coming up. Cheers. Cheers.